what we're going to work on today is downloading some screen casting software that we can use to record what's on the desktop of our computer. The program we're going to use for that is called Screencastify. The best way to get there is to open up Chrome, go to Google, and just search for Screencastify. Um, it's best to do this in Chrome because Screencastify is a plugin for Google Chrome that kind of work, works seamlessly with our web browser. So when we search for Screencastify, Screencastify shows up as our top option in the Google Chrome Web Store. We're going to go there, and in the upper right hand corner there will be a box that says plus free. And when we click on plus free, um, we're going to click on add. And when we add it, what it's doing is it's integrating that program into our Google Chrome browser. And so now, from now on, when we open up Google Chrome, there's going to be this icon in the upper right hand corner that looks like just a strip of film. Um, and that's how we get to Screencastify. Um, when it goes there for the first time, it says choose where you want to store your recordings. Uh, you can choose to have them stored in Google Drive, or you can have them saved on your computer. Um, if you have a Google account and you use Google all the time, um, you can save it to Google Drive and it'll just show up automatically in your Google Drive every time you record something that's a screencast. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it locally on this device and get started. And it has a tutorial that it's going to walk us through. Um, for now, I'm just going to close that out and uh, we'll do the tutorial ourselves. Um, so say that you've got something that you want to record on your screen, either in your internet browser or just on your desktop. To get there, we're going to go to that film strip for Screencastify, and it pulls up some options for us. It can have us capture the tab, so just the tab of our browser that we have open, the desktop if you want the entire uh, screen recorded, um, or camera if you want to use uh, just your webcam. So um, you can choose which of those you want to do. For microphone, um, if you're using your school laptop, your laptop has a microphone built in, um, and you can see with the jumping around um, that it's picking up sound from mine. Uh, if you have system audio check, that means that it's going to record any kind of sound. So like you click on something that goes ding, or plays a song, or whatever, um, that's going to show up in your screencast. Um, one of the neat things, if, you or if you're using your school laptop or if you have a webcam on your desktop computer, uh, if you click on embed webcam, then it's going to open up a box that will record your webcam and put it in the corner of whatever you're recording on your screen. Uh, I'm going to click show preview window. Um, that's just going to put a small window in the corner that shows me what's been recording. And uh, then we click start recording. And from here we can pick, um, once again, what, since I picked desktop, I want to pick which desktop um, tab I want to record. Um, so I can choose this screen, this screen, just these are all the different windows I have open. Um, I'll change my mind. I'm going to go back and I'm going to record just the tab and start recording. And that's automatically going to pull up uh, this Google window and record that. Um, you can see down here in the preview, this is what it's going to look like with the webcam shot down there. Um, and it shows me that it's recording. And from here I can do, I can go to Blackboard and I can walk students how to do a tutorial on Blackboard. Um, and when I went to this other website, noticed that um, my boxes over here went away. But if you look up at the film strip, it still has that red dot, so it's still recording. Um, I can pull that up again. Um, we're 38 seconds into this recording. Um, and we'll make our preview window show up again. So this shows us that we are where uh, we're at. And I went to the wrong Blackboard page, actually. Go to the right one this time around. So say, for example, we wanted to show students how to find something in your class. You can go to Classes, go to First Period. And if you're trying to show them where your um, homework assignments are, you could make a screencast take them to course content, take them to your daily agendas, and show them how to link to homework assignment. And that's going to record all of um, everything that you're walking them through right there. Um, so just in a nutshell, that's Screencastify. That's how it works. Um, once you've finished your screencast, 
give you guys some options. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. Now when I stop recording, it's going to open up this window over here that will start auto-playing the video just so that you can double check and make sure that it looks okay. One of the cool things about this is if you have a YouTube account, if you click on the share button and pick YouTube, and you can do either public or an unlisted video. If you do an unlisted video, that's just uh, that just means that you have to have the link to get to that video, so it's not searchable on YouTube. Um, so you can pick YouTube. I'm gonna pick public. I have to pick my YouTube account here. Uh, there are some permissions that it walks you through that you need. And you can just click upload. And it uploads to YouTube really, really quickly. Um, and see, and it's already there, and it shoots out the link down here that we would go to to go see our video. And usually, if you go to that link just as soon as it posts, um, YouTube is still in the process of processing the video. So it takes a minute to get up, but it pulls it up here. I'll give it just a second. You can change the name of the video. Um, and you can edit everything through there. Um, with YouTube accounts, if you have a personal Gmail account, it has a YouTube account built in because Duke, uh, Google owns YouTube. Um, if you don't and you would like to use um, an account, you can you, you can just sign up for your own Gmail account if you want. Um, or we have our own uh, Google Apps domain here at school. It's the mjhsrebels.org. Uh, domain and it's integrated with the Google Apps suite of products including YouTube. So if you'd be interested in using it that way so that you have a, a school account instead of a personal account that you're using, uh, just let me know and I can set up that teacher account for you. We'll refresh this YouTube page. And there we go. It's already in the process of just making this video. It's already up there um, for all the world to see my smiling face um, along with you guys. So, um, in a nutshell, that is Screencastify, how to get it up and going, um, and how to make instructional videos. Thank you, and if you have any questions, let me know.